Hello and welcome to my review of this Spyderco Urban Lightweight. I've had this knife for about a week or so now and I've really enjoyed it, really enjoyed using it. Uh, it's sharper than I thought it would be, um, it's more comfortable than I thought it would be. And I bought this knife from Henny Haynes. If you haven't already visited them, I, I would uh, suggest you do because they have a huge selection of uh, knives as well as UK legal ones to carry. If you spend over £30, I think you get free delivery and more often than not, you, you receive the item the very next day. Their service is, is incredible. Check their website out. I'll put a link in the description and things. First of all though, we're gonna hit you with some uh, specifications. The overall length of uh, the knife, open that is, is 15.4 centimeters. Its closed length is 8.8 .8 centimeters. Blade thickness is 0.3. Uh, the blade length is 6.6 .6 centimeters. And the cutting ledge is 5.9 centimeters. Already it's uh, UK legal to carry because it doesn't lock. It's a, classified as a slip joint. Spyderco have uh, written uh, a little bit of information about this and then I'll, I'll talk to you about my, my views and things of it in terms of its features. In the mid-2000s, UK changed its knife laws to prohibit the carry of one-handed opening lock blade knives and obviously Spyderco are at the forefront of uh, adapting to, to changes within countries and uh, they want to prov provide a functional legal to carry folding knife uh, so they developed the UK pen knife or UK PK and they also defined a, an entire new class of folding knife, the slip it. It's a non-locking folding knife that offers the advantages of one hand opening and clip carry. Uh, it also features an enhanced notched joint mechanism that keeps a, the open blade firmly in place under spring tension but does not lock it. So um, I'm pushing quite hard and yeah it won't kind of I suppose disengage but there is no no lock it merely resides into a notch slip it gained popularity spyderco expanded its offerings in 2009 they launched the urban now the urban i think had g10 handle scales so there were there are two types the the leaf blade was in foliage green g10 and the um warm cliff was in the orange g10 they didn't have s30v but they did have vg10 and then in 2011, the Urban was discontinued, but its reputation continued. So what they've done is uh, they've reintroduced the Urban as a lightweight model in 2014. Of course, this is 2015, but they, they introduced it last year. And it combines all the desirable features of the original version with weight saving advantages of uh, an injection molded handle or the FRN, which is what the, the handle scale is made from. The blade itself is precision machine from premium Bula Unholm N690CO steel, which is a high performance stainless steel, which is alloyed with cobalt, molybdenum and vanadium. It's got a full flat grind, leaf shaped profile, that provides an exceptional balance of strength, low friction cutting performance and point utility. To prevent unintentional closure, the blade also features a prominent index finger choil, finger groove there, and uh, they both have jimping or textured grooves on the thumb ramp and on the, the finger choil. So it features this textured FRN or fiberglass reinforced nylon to keep it feather light, uh, but it also provides a, a secure grip. Scales are anchored to the blade's solid steel backspacer and that provides structural strength and serves as the spring for the knife's not joint non-locking pivot mechanism. And all the components are assembled with screw together construction to ensure precise alignment and exceptionally close fit tolerances. And best of all, the Urban Lightweight proudly features the characteristics that define it as a slip it. Spyderco's trademark round hole for one handed blade opening and a reversible wire clip. These features complement the knife's symmetrical styling and make both carry and operation of the knife completely ambidextrous. So the deep pocket wire clip uh, keeps the knife tucked low in the pocket and allows the colour of pants material to show through. That makes the carry of this knife exceptionally discreet and uh, further enhances its socially friendly demeanour. 
would have preferred it in uh, socially friendly colours as well. And they say it's an ideal cutting companion for city dwellers that highlights functionality of split it, slip, slip it line of knives. That's a little bit of spiel um, from Spyderco themselves. So this is uh, my kind of part of the review really. Its features, well, we talked about the FRN handle scales and the backspacer. It's a full length backspacer which does add, add to its weight. You are going to be running in at 88 grams, which is of course uh, heavier than the 60 odd grams of the UK PK. But it is textured, it's the same kind of texturing that you'd have on uh, all the others. It doesn't have its name on it, but it does have the Spyderco logo like the others. It's got the torque screws, so it's quite easy to uh, maintain. Deployment, you could deploy that quite quickly if you really needed to. But the thing that struck me as odd was the uh, the angle in which the blade stops. Um, normally it's a 90 degree but they decided a 60 degree and Sal I think has commented that it was a, a mistake um, so maybe we will see them change this uh, but overall day-to-day -day function I haven't really seen this as much of an issue. I'm very pleased with the uh, how strong the the non-locking notch is. I'm very impressed by just how confident it's made me feel using the knife uh, with such a strong backspacer. It's not too strong as to really get on your nerves, but again, it's it's not very light either. It does keep it lightweight, giving it in, um, then making it in the FRN. Yeah, I, I would like to see an S30V G10 version. Hopefully they'll do that. I would like to see it in different colors. But um, the handle scale itself is very ergonomic. Uh, there is really only one way to hold it, and that is like so. I've got large hands. Fingers do feel a little bit, a little bit squashed at the end, only a only a tad. Uh, but you kind of really have to hold it in this this finger tool position. Gives you great precision though when you're when you're cutting or doing fine work. The actual only position of holding it lends itself very well to the to the knife. Uh, so it's got no liners. It's just a piece of FRN. Um, deployment is great. It's the signature trademark deployment of Spyderco with the spidey hole. Don't know whether you could flick it completely open. That's the answer right there. Uh, if that is, if you need to do that. But because it's kind of mainly addresses the, the urban environment, to deploy it quite slowly, it will be, you know, fine. Now I have had a, a few people comment on on the knife, saying that it's it's a whopper and that it's quite you know a bit intimidating and things. I only think that because of the satin finish and the, the black handle scales compared to the UK PK, uh, of which I will be doing a, a UK legal kind of comparison video. Uh, I did a UK legal knife options video a year or two ago, and I'll be doing another one. That's the next video that I'll be releasing, and there's not really much in it in terms of. The way they both look, you could very easily mistake one for the other. The, the same, same colours, same shapes, very similar features, really. Uh, the locking, the locking mechanism. I say the non-locking notch is is a lot thinner. It's not as uh, strong on the UK PK, but it's yeah, it's it's tighter on the Urban. So uh, the blade steel, yes, it's the very. Very high quality N690CO. If you haven't already, go check out my blade steel guide on N690. I talk in depth about my experiences of it and uh, how well it performs, as well as as well as its uh, chemical makeup and properties. It's quite a super steel, I would think. Uh, I prefer it to S30. They put even though S30 uh, affects the price of the blade. I actually now I'm thinking that N690 is um, affecting the the price of knives too because uh, it's easier to sharpen than S30. The edge itself rolls rather than chips. It's not as brittle and it holds its edge for a long time too. It's got great corrosion resistance. So the big elephant in the room, I suppose, is really the price. In America, I see these for $60, $50 or $60. Over here in the UK, £62. Now that is an awful lot of money considering that for, for £10, um, less you can get a, a UK PK which is longer and lighter you know for, for £10 less and it is an extremely great blade and the steel is quite decent if I was to pick one I'd just save the extra tenner and uh, get the Urban uh, now that I've had a good week or two uh, with the Urban I really would 
if you if you want to spend your tenner on something else, uh, then get the UK PK by all means, um, because it's still a very decent knife. It's got a bigger handle scale. If you've got a large hand, it's a no-brainer. You probably prefer this over the, over the Urban, but you will need to to sharpen the, the steel a little bit more often. But if you want one of the best not UK legal knives to carry that it isn't that intimidating, it's sort of medium small size knife that's completely legal to carry around with you then this is really I say the holy grail um, it's yeah it's close it's close um, but like I said elephant in the room the price it's quite pricey but in my opinion after having this for a week or two I'd say it's worth it I'd say save up that extra £10 if you're going to buy one knife for UK legal carry this is the one to go for because the blade steel is just incredible um, it's in a great package the backspace is very tight and very secure overall it just exceeds expectations um, like a lot of Spydercos but if they asked any more for this I don't think I would bite I think uh, £62 is, is really up there for a, a sub 3 inch knife with with this blade steel hopefully they'll do another version of this with better handle scales and uh, maybe even better steel if they put some really high class steel on this then yeah it would be a great seller I think but uh, as it stands this is probably the penultimate um, UK legal knife to carry in my opinion uh, for its size weight cutting performance blade steel you name it so now I'm in this part of the video where I'm gonna show you a few size comparisons and um, so I'm gonna put it flat um, we'll start off quite small so the squeak it the squeak has a quite a loose back spring really back spacer so it's just a little bit bigger than a squeak um, the spidey K probably say the spidey K is a little bit you can see I've used the spidey K it's quite in a filthy condition actually um, same steel N690 for all three and I've got the, the Pingo too I think the Pingo would go in between both of those, yeah, about. So Spider K is a little bit longer. The handle scale is also just a little bit longer. Um, I find the Spider K vet. I find it a little bit too short on the blade, but it's got a very nice point. And um, but the handle scale is is just 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 about right for me. Um, so there you go. And then the UK largest of the five there. I hope that is uh, useful for you to see uh, that you've got the Squeak, the Pingo, the Urban, the Spidey K and the UK PK. As I mentioned earlier in the video I will be doing a UK Legal Knife Options video again with all my new updated knives. There may even be a new one. So as you've just heard this knife is worth the asking price. It's an incredible little knife that you can use out and about, uh, obeys the UK knife law laws that we have here. It's an excellent package by Spyderco. So that's the end of my review. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Thank you for watching. Take care.